Well, we're continuing the informative series of videos about uh, becoming an Uber taxi driver. And um, so I thought the next step would be um, taking that livery uh, online course. And that's what on my checklist, you know, when I opened the app, right? So I did all, all these, you know, background check, you know, proof of insurance. And so the next one, it says recommended next step on the, on the Uber app. It says recommended next step is please provide proof of your TNDL, Transportation Network Driver License. That's what it says, next step. And then after that, it says vehicle inspection called Elvis, E-L-V-I-S. And I guess that's it. But when I click for more information about this uh, TNDL, about this uh, Uber license driver for the driver, like there's no links anywhere. You know, like how do I apply? I searched on Google. Um, it says, uh, okay, Calgary. Alberta, Canada, here's a list of requirements that you need in order to get this license. But again, no links. Like, and, then, and it looks like it says, your transportation network will, may automatically transmit the information to us. M meaning like Uber or Lyft. Well, I'm applying for Uber, right? But again, like so confusing. So it's the next step but there's no way how to get that license, you know? And so I sent an email to uh, to that department that deals with taxis and limos, you know? And not hoping to get an answer. And then I called Uber and Uber support and their robot, the AI just drives me crazy because, you know, it says, tell us what you're calling about. And it gives you a very limited amount of, you know, very limited choice of options. You know, you have a problem with the payment. Are you missing a ride? Like, what are you calling about? I say, setup. No, does not understand. I said, um, TNDL does not understand. I said, driver license. Or you'd like to upgrade your license? No. So I, I hang up and I start a chat. Chat is much more useful with Uber. And within like 15 seconds, I'm talking to a guy and I'm asking him about this TNDL. I said, how do I get this transportation network driver license? And he's, he just, it looks like he copied and, and um, clipped the information. He says, uh, you should get your vehicle inspected. Like I'm asking him a question like, you know, how do I get the license? He says, you should get your vehicle inspected. Kind of like, you know, why does it rain? And he says, don't, you know, well, it's because, uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, summer. I mean, anyway, it doesn't make any sense, you know? And so I ask him, what's, what about the license? How do I get licensed as a taxi driver for Uber? And he says, well, you should get that one automatically within five business days after you complete your vehicle inspection. And I type to the, I type, you know, why does the next recommended step on my checklist says TNDL? Like, you know, they're idiots. And then, and then my phone beeps and I see an email from the taxi department. So it turns out somebody does read uh, people's emails over there. And so they say the same thing. They said, first you have to complete your vehicle inspection. Like first you have to finish all these requirements and then uh, Uber, will um and then we'll send the link to uber uber will forward it to you so basically you cannot get the link to enroll into that tndl online training unless you complete vehicle inspection so man just i mean why do they make it you know this difficult you know so i was stuck at this recommended next step tndl uh, and so now basically i only have two steps left uh, TNDL, the license, and vehicle inspection. And I'm sitting outside of Canadian Tire because it turns out Uber Canada, Uber Canada's biggest uh, partner with these inspections called Elvis, E-L-V-I-S, it's Canadian Tire. And I try calling these guys, of course, they don't answer their phones. 
So I came over here. This is the nearest one to my home. It's like probably 10 minutes away. I go inside and they said, yeah, we used to do it, but now this particular location, of course, does not do it, you know, like just as my luck would have it. And I said, do you know, where's the nearest location that still does these inspections? And, and she says, uh, deer food trail, Canadian tire deer food trail. So I called those guys, you know, for service, press two, they put me on hold for 20 minutes, I hang up, then I, um, I open the app, Uber app, and I click on that vehicle inspection and it there's a link there that says find a location. And I, I found another Canadian tire, which is called Beacon Hills, which is northwest of Calgary. I call that one. The guy picks up the phone. He says, uh, can I have your phone number so I can call you back? <laughs> Without even saying hi, hello, you know, it's like click, can I have your phone number to, and I'll, I'll call you back shortly. So I give him my phone number, of course, it's been 20 minutes, he never called me back. And then I go back to the list of um, authorized uh, locations, and I find two that are not Canadian tire, but are just, you know, repair shops. And I call one, they don't answer, and then I call the other one, also not too far, not too far from me, like maybe 10, 15 minutes, and some Indian guy answers the phone, and I say, how much you, ch you charge? And he says, do you still do it? Do you still do Elvis for Uber Canada? He says, yes. How much you charge? He says, 50 bucks. Oh, he asked me what kind of vehicle I have, how many kilometers. So I said 20,000 kilometers, it's a 2023 Jeep Compass. I guess he would charge more if it was like an old vehicle, but mine is just one year old and not that many kilometers. And Canadian Tire, when I ask him how much they used to charge, like this location that doesn't do Elvis anymore, but they still have the price on their system. She says they used to charge like 50 bucks, so the same. And so this guy says, uh, when would you like to get it done? I said, well, as soon as possible. Can we do it tomorrow? Because I know they open nine to four on Saturday. And he says, yeah, but I cannot guarantee. He says, if I give you time, I cannot guarantee that I'll be able to start it at exactly the same time. So he says, you can come at 10 o'clock tomorrow, but I'll try my best, but you might need to wait. I said, oh, man, I said, uh, I'm I'm okay with that because I said I've been calling Canadian tire locations and they're not even answering their phone. So if you can do this inspection for me, I'll wait. You know, I'll go grab a meal or something. I can leave you the car. And so that's the next step. So forget the T, uh, transportation network driver's license. That that one does not happen unless you finish everything. So tomorrow Saturday. Uh, I'm not working uh, at my job as delivery driver, so I'll have time. So I'm going to do the inspection. And then um, basically all you do is just you uh, click on that uh, on the checklist item that says vehicle inspection. And they say uh, take a picture of the inspection form. And that's it. And then that's the last one. Once that is done then within five days i should receive a link for online training and that one is i forgot if you have to pay um uber was saying something about 95 dollars divided into two parts like they're gonna deduct like 45 bucks um twice from your earnings so i'm not sure if if you have to pay anything up front for that online training so, so far the fees were not too crazy, right? So the fingerprints and um, the background check, I, I think, yeah, I paid 55 bucks online and then I had to pay $25 when I showed up in person for fingerprints. And um, so insurance, oh, and then uh, plates, like the new registration and the plate, it was only what, 30 bucks. Of course, everything is Canadian, so so far it's not too crazy. And then inspection is 50 bucks. So I think if anything, uh, that online training they might they might charge something because I don't know 
if that's $95 covers everything, or maybe that's just the Uber side, maybe city of Calgary wants, you know, their own uh, piece of the pie, so we'll see. But I'm definitely going ahead with this. Uh, everybody says it's a waste of time, you cannot make money, but uh, only like 3% of people um, can handle self-employed jobs. Most people like salary, salaried positions. And this is, you have to be smart here. You have to be self-employed, you know? You look for areas where to work. So not everybody is cut out for this. So I hope I can make more money than everybody claims. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. So that's, that's the update with my uh, Uber adventure. Thanks for watching.